Right now, East Point police are trying to find the shooter who killed a Metro Atlanta mother of two. Police tell 11 Alive tonight someone shot Andrea Priester as she sat in a vehicle over the weekend. And at this point, no arrests have been made. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles is live at the East Point Police Department headquarters with the latest from investigators and this woman's plea from her family. Teresa. Jonathan, I'm here on East Point Street and police tell me they've now added a $3,000 reward for any information that leads to an arrest or indictment because as of now, no one's been arrested and there's also are no persons of interest or suspect right now. Andrea Priester's family tells me that Saturday night she went out for some fun on Cedar Avenue and Harlan Drive in East Point. A spokesperson for East Point Police says there was a block party with over 100 people and someone fired a gun in Priester's direction as she sat in the back seat of a vehicle. One of those bullets hit her in the back. Another person was shot too, but Priester died at the hospital. Her parents, Andrew Priester and Sherry Woodbury, went to the funeral home today to start arrangements, but they still haven't seen her body. Besides that, here's what they say they need for closure. Catching the responsible party for this. Um, that would help some because we need answers and then we want to, whenever these, these kids get older, they're going to want answers and we want to have the answers for them. Priester leaves behind two sons, six-year-old Jonathan and two-year-old Joshua. What little Jonathan had to say about his mom ahead at five. Live in East Point, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News. All right, Teresa, thanks so much. And the family is planning to host a vigil this Friday at seven o'clock in the evening on Cedar Avenue.